Oops. Is that a picture? Yeah. Come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, um, we're about 20 minutes into the Tyranid movement phase. No, just kidding. 20 minutes?! <laughs> No, but it's it's amazing just the sheer number of Tyranid that I have to move. So there's the Progenitor Squad. They've been slow and purposeful. After their uh, run, I just let them put the run in with the uh, standard movement. It was seven inches. That's right, ladies, seven inches. Kale wasn't sure how long that was, so he had to use a... <laughs> <laughs> ruler the whole time. But that's soft. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, start of turn two. Uh, Brian's forces just made their move. As you can see, uh, this area, which was previously cluttered with termagants, is just uh, he cleaned up very, very well. Squad came out of the uh, land raider, uh, so he killed off 44 termagants in a turn, which is fine because they were there to hold them back. Uh, the zone throw kind of got stuck out in no man's land, but he's going to fall back. Uh, fortunately, Progenitor is still here, and now the game is going to just shift backwards, which is where it should be. So I got a lot of little spore mines coming in this turn, sort of clog the field up, see what we can do. Here's some spore mines that got shot out last turn. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Right the uh, Tyranids, right yeah, did a heavy beating against this assault squad. Before the warriors go. Um, and this one zone throw at least took a wound. I was really hoping to take him out, but these things happen. <laughs> All right. Turn two. Turn two, baby. So we're at the end of round two. Fucking two. <laughs> round two. You gotta bleep that out. Yeah, bleep two. No. But it, his word is four letters and, or Brand seven. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right, so this is the scene. Uh, I had two Dreadnoughts, Deep Strike right there, and... There was a bridge there. There was a bridge here a minute ago that was taken out, so he took a whole bunch of wounds on his... God, like 15 or something. Yeah, it was 15 wounds on that guy uh, as they were trying to escape the rubble falling on them. Uh, so really, without any synapse over here, there's really no way that he's going to be able to move those guys. In fact, he even rolled, right... And uh, so, and these guys can't move. So they, would, they would lurk. So I lucked out with my reserve rolls. I was able to bring in three drop pods all at the same time. Um, honestly, without that, if I had not been able to bring in the new Tron Dreadnought, he's the one who finally took <laughs> it out. It was the last final shot on that thing. Uh, it might have been a different story over here. Um, let's see what else happened. Not a whole lot. That was kind of like the big thing. Oh, and the fact that the uh, one marine squad that came out of the third drop pod took out the zone throw over there. Meant he had no synapse to keep his group moving all around. So uh, this close combat stayed put, but uh, we're at the end of round two, and the Tron Templars had a pretty phenomenal showing this time. So, yay Tron Templars! <laughs> 